Good evening. Hello to all. Thank you, all of my subscribers and viewers. Thank you once more for tuning in to my YouTube channel. Mm, I'm La Madama. Casa de Madamas. A.K.A. Veronica. Hope y'all having a good day. So, I'm making this video because... The world is experiencing an upgrade. And I like it. This is a change in the mindsets. It's a change to approach a lot of things in the workforce. I've come to realize that um, we've been surviving on the bare minimum. And um, I'm pretty sure we can get into race and all of that stuff. And I'm pretty sure... There are significant factors that show there's like a gap between gender and races and things like that. But I feel like a lot of people, regardless of their race or gender, a lot of people have been fucked over in the workforce. Like seriously, um, a lot of companies, <clears throat> unethical fucking practices. I wonder if people really know how much money a company make off your labor. Like, people really be thinking they doing good if they making $10, $15 an hour. That ain't shit. Do you get that? And, like, when you do get it, it look like a lot. But at the end of the day, with the cost of living and the taxes and everything going up, Again, that ain't shit. Companies really be raping the fuck out of their employees. And it's it's set up by design to give you the bare minimum. Because one, I guess they look at it like, oh, it humbles you. Then number two, you barely have enough to... It's like you living from paycheck to paycheck, right? But it's set up and designed that fucking way. Man, listen. A lot of people don't want to put in the work. They don't want to think outside the box. Majority of the people in this world are complacent and just satisfied with the bare minimum because it's like, I guess they told a psyche that, you know, this is as good as it gets and make the best out of it. But it's more out of life. And me being a risk taker my whole entire life, I kind of always challenge or buck the system in one shape, form, or another. See, I won't going to accept some shit just out of fear. Or because somebody told me so. Or more than one person told me so. i always been the type of person that, hey, well, let me see what the fuss is about. Well, let me see. You know what I'm saying? And uh, I always kind of find a way to get in or get what I want or to see shit for what it is. Honey. Put it like this, man. I mean, I know the cost of living differs from area to area. But that little $10, $15 motherfuckers be making ain't shit. We just really been accepting the bare fucking minimum. So then when we get something that look a little bit different from what the fuck we used to. That looks a little bit more than what we used to. We happy as hell. And we think we on top. Cause we making 15, 20 damn dollars an hour. When I can get a share of the, like, a share of the holdings in the company, that's when I'm feeling like I'm a motherfucking boss. Man, you keep your goddamn supervisor position in your 60 plus hours a week. That shit don't impress me. You know what I'm saying? 
And then I remember when I was working at the hospital, these motherfuckers, bro, listen. I didn't, I don't miss work. I don't call the fuck out. Every opportunity they had for me to pick up to do overtime or they call me and ask me, could I work in somebody place? I was always on top of it. Um, I even took the time to study how you can get the highest percentage of raise, you know, things that you got to do above and beyond expectations. So one of the things I did, I took every single course that the hospital offered. You know, that it was set up like a passport book and you get all these stamps and shit, right? And the stance is basically saying that basically you are up to date. You are all caught up on certifications and any information that you need to, do, uh, to know in order to perform your job at its like highest capacity. So that was something I did, volunteer, um, stuff like that, like, like, um, I don't know. At the end of the day, after they did my evaluation, honey, and like they want no bad reports and shit, they only gave me a quarter raise. And somebody was like, shit, you ought to be happy. Happy for fucking what? What the fuck? That's like a hundred, maybe a hundred, a hundred dollars extra on your check, maybe ten dollars. I don't know. All I know, a quarter ain't shit. I bet you don't see no CEOs get no goddamn quarter raise. And then on top of that, when People get bonuses. Oh, they get $200, $500 bonus. Your motherfucking ass jumping for joy. Kind of remind me of, like, back in the slavery days when they got Christmas off. And they gave a motherfucker a fucking, some pig intestines and said, Merry Christmas. Niggas happy as hell, jumping all across the goddamn porch, dancing and singing over some fucking chitlins. That's how the fuck I feel about that quarter raise. That won't shit. Who the fuck? Bruh, seriously though, what kind of dent can a fucking quarter put into an annual fucking salary, dog? And how come CEOs and bosses and shit that do less work, you ain't no fucking worker B. You ain't out here in the field, but you can give yourself thousands of dollars of a fucking bonus. But get a worker bees, a few hundred dollars here, a fucking pizza party, and some paraphernalia. With the company's logo on it. If you that person. That be happy as fuck. Shouting all over the place. Testifying in church over a fucking quarter raise. Unfriend me now. Get away from me. I mean to each his own but. Research jobs today. Get on Indeed, snagajob.com, motherfucking Glassdoor, um, Simply Hired. Um, do they even do Monster? Monster? Do they do that anymore? Um, 
What's in the, if you in North Carolina, NC Works is a very good resource. Um, also, LinkedIn. Okay. Now, start like, like, man, people really need to like research. Like, because... It's money to be made out here, y'all. Y'all don't got to suffer and be a broke motherfuckers. You really don't. You don't have to settle for fucking minimum wage. If you settling for minimum wage, that's because that's what the fuck you want. But it's money out here to fucking be made. People are so stuck in the traditional role of the workforce. Jobs don't give a fuck. Man, do you know what freelancing is? Do you know how rewarding it is to freelance work and not work under the same supervisor, under the same fucking low-level energy as co-workers? I mean, some people want to settle. Some people are looking for something familiar, something that don't switch up. They want what a grandmama them had back in the day. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> everybody different. But me, I can't stand around and be around a group of people for too long, especially if the group of people are miserable fucks. And they're not really looking for growth. And their whole MO is to try to tear everybody else down to get to the top. Yeah, I, I don't want to become too familiar with people these days. I'm like a rolling stone in the workforce. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to be settled like I'm in a monogamous relationship. And a lot of people carry their jobs like it's their husband or wife or significant other. Scared to cheat, scared to explore options and shit. And then motherfuckers be devastated, angry, bitter, upset with health issues. When they been on a job 15, 20 goddamn years and then the job. It's like, what job was that shit here in North Carolina? Mm -hmm. It was a job, man. They didn't get they down. Them, them employees had been with them for um ten years. They didn't even give them employees no type of notice. Just up and just just quit one day. Just like move the whole company overseas. So what I'm telling people that you need to get out of that mindset of having that answer to that same motherfucker. Dealing with them same shitty ass employees. When you can actually fucking freelance. Like, yo, like, I see, I don't even know the name of the app or the company that, that sponsors this type of thing. But I'm seeing it in healthcare. But people that do work, like, work in hotels, work at restaurants, work at gas stations and things like that. I know that there's a company, and again, I don't know this information. I just recently seen it on the internet where you can, like, sign up through this company, and then they have schedules showing openings daily, different shifts of people that need help. Because, see, what happened was... <laughs> y'all don't understand that whole COVID thing was a blessing in disguise but for real too much is given much is required yo don't think that change gonna just all it's gonna be a bed of roses and shit you gonna have to take the bitter with the sweet can't tell you much about the bitter but what I can tell you about the sweet right so when this whole COVID pandemic shit happened 
and then they had to give out emergency funds and unemployment and all of that shit. You know, that shit changed the game, dog. <laughs> These got their own franchises and shit. Talk about, oh, we paying $14 an hour now. We desperately need help. Oh, we can't run these restaurants because we ain't got enough coverage in here. We have to close the the dining room because we don't have enough employees. Reason being because you bitches, you fucking supervisors, you 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 owners of fucking franchises. Y'all know y'all been paying motherfuckers minimum wage and been making billions and don't want to share that money and now this whole COVID shit switched up the whole game, baby. You can't get away with that minimum wage ass bullshit. I mean, you could try, you can offer that shit, but guess what? You ain't got enough coverage, do you? Which means you're going to have to step your shit up. See, I like Amazon because Amazon didn't come out trying to lowball motherfuckers. See, they were smart. They did a little high price so. When everything else rise, they're going to be like right there like, yep, $16, okay? Now motherfuckers paying 20 24 I don't know. Just depends. Depend on your skill sets. Depend on your years of experience. All of that shit. But scared money don't make money. Scared money don't make money. With all this money being made, you got to expect the cost of living going to go up. So the little cookie cutter, crumbly crumb, motherfucking bare minimum ass, minimum wage ass, bullshit ass jobs that's making these motherfuckers be paying your ass like seven and some change an hour. But they making fucking 40, 50 fucking dollars an hour off of your labor. Hmm. How many burgers do you flip in an hour? How many? How much them burgers cost? Like you ever sit up and do the math? Fries. How many batches of fries you drop? How many fries? How many um order of fries come in that batch? Do the math, man. Add that shit up. So when a motherfucker offer you a quarter raise, you ask them, "What the fuck is this? Can you feed your family with a quarter raise, bitch?" It's it's like a fucking insult. <laughs> so, you know, I'm glad to say I'm in a position where, okay. You know what? I like the vibe here. I'm going to stick here. Mm, okay. It's cool. All right. But then, oh, boom, over there. Oh, they offering, um, let's say, $15 more than what the fuck you offer. Hmm. Here or there? There. Stop settling. You motherfuckers are so used to working 40 hours, 40 plus hours a week, six, seven days a week. That's what you want for your life. How does it feel spending more time at work than you do in your own personal time, taking time out for you? How often do you rest? Is rest foreign to you to the point that you can't sleep when you try to go to sleep? That means you working too much, motherfucker. Who's scared to take off work? See, the, 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 the Constitution starts off as we the people. Not we the Congress. Not... We the workforce, not we the CEOs of the fucking company. We the fucking people, okay? But y'all, settle. You know, that probably would not be. So if Rosa Parks never set her ass at the front of that bus, we would probably still be dealing with segregation. You feel me? Somebody got to step up to the plate. Somebody got to be, somebody got to not be afraid of change. You seen your mama, your daddy, your grandparents for so long work nine to fives, 
Like, yo, nine to five don't even agree with my natural circadian rhythm. That shit just don't. I am not a morning person by default. But being conditioned long enough will make you into a grumpy motherfucker when you're not used to getting up in the morning. And guess what? Just because you train your body to get up at the crack of the dawn's ass don't mean that everybody was made to be like you. Some of us are nocturnal in nature. Thank God for third shift jobs. Now, if I could find me a third shift medical assistant job, baby, I'd be in there. Reprogram your minds. It's a Bible verse. What that shit say? Um, something about the renewing of your mind, baby. Y'all know the verse. I don't know how that shit go. But it's something to the fact that, you know, you got to renew your mind. You got, like, if you an adult, do you really think what worked for you when you was 10, 15 years old going to work for you now in older age? <laughs> renew your mind. Revisit your core beliefs. Step outside the box. Try something different. Don't be fucking scared. Do it. Just fucking do it. Peace and blessings.